Hi, this is Tapcat, and since the Warlock has been kind enough to visit our home multiple times, I thought it was time to return the favor and stop by his place to have a little chat. Now, when we visited his sister, the Assassin, I'm afraid there were some harsh words on both sides, and things got a little heated. You might even say that they escalated past the point of no return, but I think we can all agree that nothing like that could happen today, not with the Warlock. I'm sure that if we just get in the same room, we'll come to a mutual understanding. I mean, what could possibly go wrong? Okay, people. Stay alert and remember why you're here. That thing dies today, no matter what it takes. Detecting a strong energy signature further ahead in the facility. There is no doubt in my mind that it is from the Chosen. Then that's where we need to be. Such bravery, such steadfast determination, such arrogance. To step foot in this sacred temple and dare strike down a child of the gods. Your hubris is your downfall. Is it just me, or is listening to the warlock talk about arrogance and hubris one of just the most, uh, I don't even know what to call it, but certainly demonstrates a severe lack of self-awareness. No, nothing? Nothing. No problem, boss. Okay. Moving out. Well, I will. Um, Corro. I don't care whether there's anyone in here or not. I'm not going to open up new ground. I <laughs> I really don't want to get beat up in here. You have come far, little humans, boldly pushing forth into the unknown. If you only knew the truth of this place, you would scurry back to the shadows where you were spawned. Uh huh. So, all right, there's at least one door. Let's come up here. I go where I am needed. There's nothing to see. Okay, so here's a room we need to check out. Can't tell. No, nope, that's just a solid wall. But it looks like there should be a door to get there somehow. And maybe around through there or something. I don't know. Alright, well. Um, oh, those are cells. Okay. Definitely something here. Uh, I'll come here. And I mean, there, there's nobody here, so let's not. Affirmative. We've had some really, really long mission videos lately. And, um, you know, I think it took me, oh, brother, like an hour and a half for the assassin uh, when we did her stronghold. So I would like to uh, try and do this one a little quicker. Need to find some new cover. Okay, so is he going to go into Battle Frenzy? Yes, he is. <sighs> okay. Can you not feel it, humans? Their reach is eternal. Even now their hand closes upon you. No. Well, 
All right. I mean, we have a few ways we can go here. So of the guys, you have hollow targeting. I mean, what if I used him on him? Part of me is reluctant to do that because I love that he can get a flanking shot on either of those two. Um, chemical, if he got out of the way, might be able to do the same. And of course, I don't even really need it other than maybe a shot at a... All right, I tell you what, I am going to come here. And what's my chance? Okay. So 85% chance to hit him. Oh, brother. I forgot the skull mine. You know what? Now, admittedly, this is very early to use the skull mine. But I'm fine with that. I feel like this is a good pod to use it against. All right, cool. Definitely glad uh, I didn't go for that. Oh, and I don't really need information on alien facilities anyway. I think we have at least four that we've already unlocked. Okay. So that's one of the more dangerous guys down. We have two to go. Now, so Chemical cannot actually flank the trooper. Uh, that's not really a concern to me, by the way. Heading out. We have hail of bullets. We have all kinds of tools. I'm assuming that this will not... Never mind. Never mind. 99%. And we're not necessarily going to kill him, but I mean, she's going to tear him up pretty well. I'm good with that. And uh, I will probably have Tex finish him off. So, why don't I do this? Where's Riggs? God, you gotta be kidding me. Am I actually gonna, here, let me do this. I'm just going to clean up a little bit. <laughs> you know that was good. And then um, I'm going to soften the trooper up. And then, let me see. Yeah, I'm going to do this. But I'll just use hail of bullets because why not? Okay. Uh, and then I'm totally going to do this. I'm going to bring her down and start building up blood trail. I have sight beyond vision. So this should be just guaranteed kill. Beautiful. You'll love to see it. Wow. That's one of the lower rolls you'll get for sure. Um... Riggs, there you are. Do I need to use run and gun, by the way? No, because I can just slash with my new katana. Nice. Alright. Something I took off a random low-level enemy, as I remember. For you are the true abominations. Microbes that think themselves greater than the gods. Uh-huh. You take this place with your infestation. Yeah, yeah. Not a problem. Okay. So, so, so. I'm going to have to spend a turn reloading, I think, but we might as well just get everybody lined up. Um, 
Yeah, this is good. Put her here. And I think that's everybody, right? Yep, that's all six. I'm just waiting for somebody to walk through the door. <laughs> okay. You do that. You do that. And I mean, since we're topping off, there you go. All right. We'll open the door this turn. I don't even know if there's anything in here. We haven't heard. You know how you get those little audio signals? Oh, there you go. She might get revealed. I actually did think maybe leaving her there isn't the best. All right, we got uh, away with it. But honestly, it probably wasn't that smart. It does not show that this guy is on uh, Overwatch, which is kind of weird. Uh, however, I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to do just a simple shot with her. And then I'll have Russo finish it. And we won't use a cooldown or anything. He can still get promoted. So, I don't know, you know, that I'll need him to have that, but why not? He and Kang are kind of, you know, the only two on this mission. Absolutely. So since there's no one else in here, uh, I don't expect this to get the kill, but I'm okay with it. And then I'll just have um, Kang finish it. Let's move already. Which with the stock should be guaranteed. But it's a 100% shot, so I mean... I don't really need the stock, I guess. Uh, okay, so... That's it, right? There is nothing else in here. Okay. Well, listen, I'm okay with that. Let me, let me use somebody that I can actually see something with. Is there anything over here? Like at the far end of the room. It's a big ass room. Can I just say that? Um, yes. Yes. All right. Fair enough. Well then. It's double time. Oh, brother. Chrysalis. And those doors are wide open. Or that one door is. But will I let you die quickly today? He still has never figured out that they are not hunting me. <laughs> they think they're hunting me, but they are actually being hunted. And uh, consistently slaughtered, I might add. I'm not going to put her at risk. And I don't know that we have a whole lot of actions for Overwatch. That was actually more than I thought we'd have. Now, well, this is weird. That one was acting as if he hadn't been activated even after he got shot. I think that was a visual bug because I'm pretty sure it's lying dead now. I don't know what's going on. I mean... I'm pretty sure there were only four, and one is over here, but we watched one 
block over here. So, yeah, I don't know what's up with that. Let me, um... Let me come over here and just make sure. Yeah, there's nothing to see. <laughs> Literally nothing to see. Okay. So... I am definitely assuming that they will attack, you know, with full vigor this turn. All right, I, I thought he could get that kill, and he could have gotten the kill. I think he literally needed anything other than minimum damage. And we did not get anything above minimum damage. Uh, however, I am just going to take single shots. I'm going to use face off if I need to. Aside from that, I don't have any intent of, you know, using run and gun or chain shot or any of that. I don't think we need to. There you go. And honestly, I'm not even sure I need face off. Kane can easily kill. Yeah, you know what? I, I don't need it. I am just going to do this. And then let me use Kang. I'll just get a little closer so that I get... Well, I just realized it doesn't even matter if I miss. Because, again, the stock. Cool, he needed a reload. Alright. So we know that there's a room over here. Now, I don't know if there's anything, you know, besides them coming out. I can handle that. Or inside, I guess, what I'm trying to say. I'm sure. Why not? All right. Must I? This is the final room. Now there are other, there was another room back there. Um, I don't care. Pretty much decided that already. I think what I'm gonna do, back online. I'm, I'm gonna take it nice and easy here. We're kind of out in front of a lot of the other guys. Yeah, and see, like, he Rock and roll. has got half ammo because I did use um, hail of bullets, I think it was. Mi muovo verso le coordinate. And it looks like that cooldown is back up. Here, let's go ahead and do this. Yeah, I think all my cooldowns are back, which is really good. I don't know if we're going to use some of them in this next room. If we do, we do. All right, so I don't have to keep going through. Probably should have stood behind Kang, but yeah, okay. It would have really sucked if I just happened to be at the perfect angle. The perfect distance to activate somebody, because that would be a very XCOM thing to have happen. And by the way, as we move ever closer towards the Warlock, there is one concern I have, which is <laughs> Riggs actually has like a fear of psionic attack. So not exactly ideal to bring him, but here's the thing. I didn't want to put him in the infirmary for eight days or whatever it is to cure him of that. And I obviously was going to bring Tex, partly because she's, you know, the warlock's nemesis and partly because she has Banish, which is just freaking insane against all these chosen or anyone else for that matter. 
And he, you know, is her bond mate. So, also, by the way, if we finish this, the two of them, I'm pretty sure, will be able to go to level three bond. So, I mean, it's kind of a big deal. But, uh, he could be a little jittery on this mission. Put it mildly. Okay. Okay, I don't see anything in the preview window all the way here. I don't see anything here, which it scares me a little bit. You know, I, I, I don't care. Well, okay, I'll trust it. Okay, it worked. I'm not gonna lie, that scared me a little bit. I don't want to, I want to come this way, but I so don't want to come this way. Okay, okay. Then I'll come here. Since it did show once I went too far. Now see, this is where I get pissed. I really watched that preview window and there was nothing over there that made it trigger. So it really, really annoys me. That they then trigger anyway. But it can annoy me or not annoy me. And it's still the same result. So, you know, what am I going to do? Well, I ain't going to do a damn thing. I'm going to go on Overwatch. I don't care. They're very limited this turn. I can't see anything. But I, again, like... That's just kind of crap. Because they shouldn't be able to do that. Taking fire over here. It hit the plate. Cover the plate. Oh, now is there hope. Your actions today force the elders' hands. They can no longer afford patience. Okay, my two top priorities are these two. And of course, um, you know, the reality is if I don't kill the shield bearer first, I mean, everyone else is just so much work. So that's really unfortunate to put it mildly. And doubly so because of the fact that there's very little cover and we're in very, very tight quarters here. So I think what I'm going to have to do, well, no, because she literally can't see anything. So I'm just going to come in. Overwatch. I got lucky. Well, actually, doesn't she have lightning? No, she does not. Yes, she does. Yes, she does. Energy signature directly ahead. This appears to be an alien transport device of some kind. Understood. <sighs> yeah. It's like we found our way out of here. Okay. So... Can I do this? Let's 100% do this and hopefully just get rid of all these shields. I mean, maybe it's just me, but I feel like we'll be ever so much better off if I don't have to punch through all of that crap. All right, and then she can move, which is probably what I'll end up doing. Um, like maybe here. Yeah, I like that. Move. Okay. Now Riggs, if I come here, I have him flanked, but I, I don't care about flanking him. These are the two that we need to worry about. Now, I think I could get to this if Riggs was not in the flipping way. 
So what I probably need to do is come here and then try, yep, I can do it. So what I have to decide now is like, do I want to do something like this to shred him? I could probably even chain shot and I can, and he's just dead. But we have to take out these two. I need all four or I need to throw a mimic beacon. Um, and if I throw a beacon, I actually want to kill him more than I want to kill them. I hate to use a mimic beacon uh, before we get to uh, a warlock. Who all have I got? Chris can't do anything from where he's at. And the only person I could possibly flank is this guy. I tell you what, I'm going to come in because um, cover doesn't matter. Now, I've already decided we're going to... Um, we're going to use a mimic beacon if we don't kill everybody. I don't think I dare... Yeah, I need to come farther away from him. I'm not coming here. I'm pretty sure that's in the blast zone. Finally. And you never know if they're going to go boom. So I do not have any kind of shot. I could do something like combat protocol. Riggs could pretty easily take out the trooper by himself. Could probably... All right, let me do this. I actually think that this makes the most sense. Because like I say, um, if we do need to use a Mimic Beacon, then the Purifier becomes the guy I least want around because that stupid flame could cause us problems. Now. You don't have a good shot. The best you can do is hurt somebody. Well, not the best you can do, but the most likely outcome, you're just gonna get some damage. So we have tax, and I would prefer not to use her in terms of, um, like her explosives and stuff. You're not getting a solo kill. But if I do this, he's an easy kill for her now. And I can definitely do this. Hold on, isn't this the end of his turn? Yeah, don't do that. Don't do that. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and finish this guy. Give Blood Trail another boost. So now, I just have the officer. And honestly, I think it just makes sense to use Run and Gun. Come right up on him. And that's what I thought. I need to use rapid fire. And unfortunately, it's not 100%. But I'm okay with this kind of chance. And uh, Chris can finish him if we need to. So, But we didn't need to. All right. I'm going to reload him. And I'm going to reload him. Locked and loaded. I think that's the turn. Yep. So there are not, in fact, any other enemies on this level. 
Uh, there was a room we didn't explore way back at the beginning, or maybe we've worked our way through this maze and ended up there through a different route. Uh, that I don't know. All right, I am not exactly going to rush my way there because I'm not going to lie. I wouldn't mind letting some of my abilities recharge or at least get closer to recharging. Okay, is that everybody? Three and three. Yep. All right, we'll get out of here this turn. Just out of curiosity, yeah, I see two turns away from lightning hands. Holy crap. Three and two. Alright, I tell you what. There we go. Alright. On the move. I just uh ended a turn and bumped it up a notch. All right, let's head on up or out or wherever the hell it is we're going. Well done, Menace One Five. See you on the other side. So we got through the preamble fine. Didn't use any consumables. Um, most, if not all, of my um, cooldowns are going to be close to coming back. We do have. A pod waiting for us in there before the warlock gets activated. I know that. And we'll see how this goes. I am hoping that we can really do this one by the numbers. Because even with that mishap regarding activating that pod in the last room, it all worked fine. You know, at the end of the day, no harm, no foul. Proceed carefully. What is that? Some kind of stasis chamber for the Chosen? No wonder they keep coming back at us despite everything we throw at them. So funny, you know, last... Very good. Last time when we, we fought the Assassin, I said, oh, this is a little different than I'm used to. Usually there's a raised platform in the middle, and it can come in pretty handy. Uh, this time we actually have the raised platform, and I am quite pleased about that. So let me move forward, see if there's anything to the see. And there is. Now, I, it's funny, I remember there was definitely a Mouton when we fought in here against the Assassin. I could have swore it was not a Codex that was with it. But I could easily be wrong. So let me see. Um, yeah, he's one turn away from rapid fire, which I'm not worried about particularly. Do I want to trigger these guys this turn? I can't think of any real reason not to. Absolutely. We really should be able to take on one Mouton and one Codex at this phase of our development in the game. Now she has chosen a very awkward place to go, so that's not great for me. Um, man, I'll be honest, I'm really tempted to just take this shot. <laughs> the lack of respect. And then, yeah, see, I can't get her, oh, are you telling me I can see her from here? See the codex from here? I buy codex. Wow, six turn cooldown, holy crap. That's kind of rough. Let's do okay. this. I'm going to move forward a little bit, but not much. Um, okay, 
We are not triggering the Warlock on this turn. Period. End of story. Alright. Uh, Riggs, there you go. So I want to reload her. And then next turn we'll go. Uh, honestly, I probably should have moved her forward, actually. Well, let's come here. I can't remember where the, the spot is where you trigger him. You have to, okay, you guys are going to say, you have to move forward a bit. And since uh, one of us has already moved and that did not trigger... I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come up to that point. One more way. And um, that will also let me catch up with chemical. I got two. This is fine. Moving out. By the way, does anybody else need a reload? I don't think they do. I mean, I can top them off. I don't think it's super necessary. All right, we're fine, and I will move her here. I will reposition. And then next turn, we definitely trigger the old oh, warlock. And I think I'll do it with rigs. Not a problem. Now, thankfully, we don't have to play hide and seek with him the way you do the, the assassin. Uh huh. I suppose we should begin then. All right, we faced these things before, and we can do it again. No matter what happens today, only one side is leaving this place alive. At last, the humans speak the truth. I mean, here's what I'm thinking. We definitely shred. Oh, you know what else I'm thinking? <laughs> oh, yeah. He's got salvo, right? He sure does. Okay, I like this a lot. Because this will shred his first two, get rid of his cover. And then we're going to use Hail of Bullets. <laughs> this is going to be uh, a rough turn for a certain Warlock. Now, the interesting question here is like, do we want to use Banish? And I kind of don't think so. Like, what if I use Rapid Fire? I still have a 91% chance. I like it. Oh my god. <laughs> so let's use, you know, our our weakest hitter. I think what I want to do, I'm going to come down so I'm closer to the sarcophagus, I think. I should still have 100% with hollow targeting. Yep. And this should just finish him. Especially with bewilderment. There you go. That's so good. Hey, Ray. Waking up, buddy. How you doing? How you doing? You're still sleepy, aren't you? Alright, and now we still have some attacks, you know, we can put on this thing, which is awesome. You know what I should have done now that I think about it? I should have used her shot to kill him because she could have stayed concealed. That was a miss. Yep, that was a miss. Alright, can I, can I grab Chris here? Thank you. 
Okay. So... Oh, I see. I can only hit it. Yep, it's not in range from up here. Whatever you say. Come down, Ray. Come on. Come on, you. We're a little late, you know. So we're going to do this. I'm going to lightning hands this thing. And then... Fanfire should be good here. Okay. I'm not positive those later shots hit. Um, chemical. I got to be careful because we know that more summons will come this turn. So I kind of want to be, you know, in position for that. We could dual strike to really... Problem is, I don't know if it'll work either. It seems like this thing is kind of immune to anything that takes multiple shots. And I don't know if dual strikes in that category. So I'm just going to... I'm going to play it safe. And I guess what I will do, I'm going to move her forward. And I'll use Sting. Get get a little more damage in. I've waited for this moment. And we should have all next turn. Although, again, there will be ads. Yeah. That's a little more problematic just because both of these guys are real bullet sponges. So let me think about this. I mean, this is what's going to get us there, ultimately. So what do I want to do? I mean, that's a very... I kind of want to use a Mimic Beacon this turn, but what sucks... Well, if I throw one over here, it will draw both of them. Uh, the challenge is Riggs and Chris are the two guys that have it. I mean... Okay, I have an idea. She can give Riggs another action. So what if I come over here... And I blast this guy. I don't even like that move. It's chemical. Okay, let me do this. What's my strategy? Am I trying to at least kill phase one this turn. Or, or kill one of these guys this turn. Because I really want to try and kill the sarcophagus. And that's not easy. You need, you know, a lot of damage. It just is a bullet sponge in every sense of the word. Can Chris... Now, Chris can only see this, so if we were going to use Dual Strike, we would have to go with the Berserker. But what I could do is this. And I mean, why not just do it? Bombs away. We have a ton of grenades. Like, this is what I'm saving them for, is this room. There is nothing after this. So we did that. We even got the crit. And now the question is, you know, do I want to try? I just feel like if I'm going to use somebody, like it probably should just be him. And I think that's my answer. 
I think I do this. We get him down to melee only. At least I think we do. Yeah. And now he's a whole lot less of a threat. And then if I use dual strike, we're going to come real close to killing this idiot. Hold on. I only have one action left. What about Chris? He doesn't have lightning hands or anything. I'm just trying to figure out a way to abuse. But I need both actions to fire my sniper rifle. All right, we go dual, dual strike. As much as I want to take out the sarcophagus, I don't really want to get beat to hell. So I think I am going to kill this stupid thing this turn. And unfortunately, uh, that just is what it is. What are my what are my chances here? This could actually be pretty good. Um, not so much for this turn, but Ooh, I'm glad I had a good chance to do it. I uh, wasn't exactly, uh, you know, crushing it on that one. But we got there. Okay. That's pretty good for me, right? Do I have any chance to kill him? I do, and I'm going to try. I should have reloaded. I was so foolish that I didn't. I don't care, you know, that it was only one round. It just was dumb. Okay, let's, um, let me just make sure. Yeah. I mean, I mean, you know what? My maximum damage is more, or my minimum damage is more this way. I'll go ahead and do the rifle. That won't do me any good. All right. And then reload. Good to go. I can learn occasionally. <laughs> so definitely not killing the sarcophagus. You can never escape my but that's all right. Uh-huh. So I could do this. Um, but it is, even though it's a flanking shot, you know, I don't have a lot of great ways to make him pay for that. Honestly, what I'm kind of thinking. What? Where's chemical? When you're not close, are you? I could come over here and I could use hail of bullets. But I think this is better. I don't know why I didn't reload. Well, it's not the end of her turn, so I can still reload if I want to. And that's why. <laughs> so I think what I want to do is I actually want to use him. Sorry, I'm, I'm really trying to consider you know, everything as I do this. Yeah, that's not good enough. 
He's going to need to reload after this turn, almost for sure. But, um, this guy is pretty ripe for the picking now. And what I'm trying to figure out is, is this my banish or do I save that for next time? After we kill the sarcophagus. He'll, I don't think he'll have as much health next time. So why don't we use banish now? Yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm really torn. I don't have, you know, a full clip or anything, but I don't think I need to. And the key is, I'm pretty sure that the rest, though, if we're lucky, we'll be able to just finish this now and take out the sarcophagus. I'm not positive we'll have enough damage output, but we'll try. We definitely are going to need some reloads coming up here, so. You're a genius. Alright, I'm going to go back to the pistol, I think. Just because. That was a good one. Basically, even if I only get four now, that made it a good decision. So yeah, I got more than max damage was going to be. So that worked out really well. All right, let's go ahead and reload and fire. And I think I just need one more hit and I'm pretty sure. Oh, brother. Well, that's the, um, you know, the... Upgrade on the assassin shotgun. I'm hoping that's a good thing. Okay. Yes. The regeneration process has been interrupted. I'm gonna reload her. On the capacitor indicate it has become highly unstable. Then let's target that chosen with everything we've got. And I'm gonna go ahead and reload him and put him on overwatch. Affirmative covering now. And then I'm kind of torn about where to put him. Because let's be honest, he's more of a mimic beacon than anything else, probably. But. Alright, I'm just going to end the turn. Now, I. I can't remember. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's all the health he's got. So he's screwed. Let's be honest. Uh-huh. Moving on target location. Well, just out of curiosity. A hundred percent. Oh, chemical. You're so good now. Definitely glad that I did banish when I did. Yeah. Seventy percent crit. Blood trail plus one damage. Soul harvest plus ten percent crit. All right. Well, let's do it. Daddy like. All right. Well, this one was a lot more under control than the assassin, but he's way easier. Like, if you can get your damage output to a particular place, he's way easier to kill than the assassin without taking damage. All right. I'm going to skip the cutscene this time since we did it last time. Uh, oh, the Andromedan we left alive. I'm okay with that. We got Flawless. 
I'm willing to accept that. Uh, but yeah, he's easier because of the way, you know, she runs in, attacks, runs away. She vanishes. She, you know, she was summoning ads, all kinds of stuff. And so she's way harder to avoid taking damage from. Um, just the fact that she starts concealed. Whereas he comes out and basically you get that first turn where he's a sitting duck. And if you're able to bring your firepower to bear on him, he doesn't really have a chance, you know, like we can just wreck him before he does anything. Most under fire, so they never got a shot. Um, although, see, it's funny, they say that. And this is where I don't trust their stats. But remember when we triggered that one group, they, they missed. Oh, wait. No, I remember. Well, that was an Overwatch shot. But just because she had lightning reflexes, they still fired. So chemical is the most shot at. Whatever. I'm not going to let that spoil my uh, victory lap here for killing the warlock. So it's two out of three down. But this is the bad part. All oh, that was yellow. <laughs> because we just fought a lot of guys. And we, uh, honestly, we probably won't even get this. I don't know that we're going to have time to spare for it. I'd be more than happy to research it and give it to, um, uh, Kang, well, not Kang, it'd be Russell for the final mission. But uh, it's the hunter's weapons I'm a little more eager. Yep. All right, so he's shaking. Sorry to hear it, bud. Okay, so can I put rigs in? Yeah, let's do it. I obviously want to bring him on the final mission, and I obviously... Oh, what's this about? Instantly restore. Well, if all it costs is money, I mean... Pfft, sure. <laughs> it's so funny. I never use that ability. I don't know. I don't really love it. For whatever reason. Um, do we want to pick up this even though we have more money than we'll ever need? I'm sorry. I need a quick refresher. Is there anybody still wounded? We have two guys, three guys shaken. We have a bunch of dudes who are tired. So other than the spark, who I would not really want to use, nobody is wounded. So I don't think going to the Templars makes a whole lot of sense. Um, honestly, I probably need, if I need anything, I could use more intel. And that doesn't mean I need intel. I'm just saying compared to supplies. Why do I say that? Because the black market... We will probably get one more new round of black market. God, do I want to do this? I honestly don't know that I do. We'll lose the territory. We'll lose some income, neither one of which matters. Um, okay, Luke's no longer shaking. You know what? I want to look at him really quick. Because... I want to know, like, is he tired? Is his will down? No. So once he got off shaken, he's just fully restored. Okay, that's good to know. That's good. Long have my kind struggled to fend off the elder's children. Those who have and Caldwell won't be shaken soon, so that's good. Okay, um, you know what? I'm not going. I don't care. Yep, I know. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's fine. Okay, cool. He's not shaking anymore. I gotta get our guys rested. 
I'm going to go ahead and skip through this, as I've been doing with most of the cutscenes. Do we have anything in here we need to worry about? I think just the, uh, yeah, the warlock weapon. Five days. Sure. We'll try to collect them all. We'll, we'll have the Pokemon approach. Uh, why do I want Intel? Black market, number one. We might still buy something else from there. Number two, when we go to the radio tower, there's always stuff uh, you can buy, like, perks for that, and some of them are really good. Sweet. All right. into the chosen stronghold commander our troops are ready to deploy we should launch a strike as soon as possible okay let's just do this so I'm gonna grab Rita and Daniel Okay. I'm good with this. Is our okay. Let's just hope your people can keep up. I kind of want to do the hunter, but, you know, we need some of these to come off the board. Or at least be within a day or so. Cool. I would have done this a long time ago, but I don't I don't see doing it now. Let's come back to the shadow chamber. The unexpected outcome of our tests on the alien psionic gate. I firmly believe the experiment itself was absolutely critical to our future. This creature represents a near All right. We're getting there. We're doing it. So, let me just try to get a few more days past. Yeah, oh well. If I had gotten another chance to stop it, I would have done it. But I didn't. I think I'll stop when we get to there. Okay. Are there any of these that I really care about? I I would like to stop this, I guess. Um. Don't care about that. Don't care about that. So, a lot of beasts there, which I don't care about. Here's a question. I will do this mission as long as I can grab a team of, you know, relatively low-level guys. Now, one thing we could totally do, you know, let's go ahead and promote our new, brand new... Um, you know, oh, blood trail. I was calling it by the wrong thing. I was saying let's build up blood trail, um, all this time, but I was getting confused. There's one where as you get kills, it uh, boosts the chance to crit or something like that. God, I've I've forgotten. Um. Soul Harvest. Kill shots, increase crit chance by 5 to a max of 20. That's what I was thinking of. All right, well, let's start with this. And then, I mean, I, I love this. I'm actually not as worried about that one. Um, I definitely want this. And... I want Sting, but I also want this. Banish and Annihilate. Okay. So we have 58 points that we can use. Um, what's this one do? Okay. Let me do this. Let me do this. <laughs> I mean... I actually think I do want this. 
Uh, well, Shredder would be a lot better if um, I was firing first, but there are times I guess it could be good. But Okay, actually, I want tactical rigging. Okay, look, for somebody that um, is probably only going to go on one or two missions, like, I'll probably bring them on this mission, but... By the way, is this a man or a woman? <laughs> uh, male. Okay, that's what I thought with a name like Landon, but I wasn't sure. So, uh, what I wanted to make sure of... Yeah, see, like, I think we can bring people like Boothy and Murdoch and stuff. I think we'll be fine. And um, so we'll go ahead and do this mission. And then if I give us just another couple of days of scanning, like literally one more day, we get rigs back, we get chemical back, we get virtually everybody back. I don't mind that these two will still have two days of bond training. Um, you know, and honestly, we even still have all these guys available. So I think we're fine. Uh, but I want to be able to go after the hunter. And obviously, we'll bring Mike on that mission. So anyway, when we come back, we'll do the guerrilla ops. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. I hope we see you next time.